Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with CJC Off-Road. I am super excited because today we are switching my truck from the standard sport uh, chrome uh, trim pieces to the night edition uh, headlights, grill, mirrors, emblems, everything. So uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you guys uh, how this process works, uh, what you need. Uh, we already kind of ran through it once already so I could get, make sure to provide you guys with the correct information. Uh, basically, what we'll be using uh, for the front end components will be a body panel remover and a 10 millimeter uh, socket. Uh, you'll also need a T25 Torx for, uh, to go ahead and get to the mirrors, but, which we'll go over here shortly. Um, what else do we want to say on this? That's it. So let's, do, let's do this. Or you can talk about how the parts you ordered are all like dealer parts. Okay. Blah. Yeah. Are we going to sell those on the site? I don't know, but all these give part numbers in the description. Okay. Ready? Yep. So the parts we're using are all factory components. So again, we have a grill, headlights, tail lights, we have emblems, and we have mirrors. So it's, a, it's the complete package, basically using all factory OEM parts. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and provide you guys with the part numbers in the description. And uh, let's go ahead and start tearing into this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and pop the hood open. And our first step is going to be to remove the upper plastic shroud that goes above the radiator. Uh, so these pins run along the front of the plastic radiator shroud, as well as two additional pins at the back. So make sure not to miss those. Uh, once we go ahead and remove the body pins from this whole shroud, we'll go ahead and pull the shroud. All right, for our next step, we'll go ahead and remove the upper trim piece that goes above the grill. Uh, this consists of 10 10 millimeter bolts that hold it in place and then we'll end up sliding it out. So the first part of this process, let's go ahead and remove these 10 10 millimeter bolts. They're located all the way across the top. Again, there's 10 of them. So now that we have the upper trim panel removed, we'll go ahead and remove the lower headlight trim panels. Uh, this is probably my least favorite step of this whole process. Uh, it's very, uh, you have to be very careful in this particular step because you run the risk of scratching the body or the trim panels. So uh, we actually, for this step, got our hands on a plastic panel remover. Uh, this is going to help us a lot in terms of not damaging the paint on the surfaces. I'm combining that with a rag to go ahead and put that behind the panel remover. Uh, just trying to be extra safe with this as this is a brand new truck. So uh, first thing we'll do is go ahead and start prying toward the outside back part of the panel. Uh, we'll work our way up uh, through each of, each of the clips uh, all the way up to the front of the trim piece. So we went ahead and did this part off camera because we were pretty positive we were going to break this. Uh, fortunately, we did not. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is work our way from the back. Uh, you can see I have the panel remover behind here. Uh, again, this is going to feel like it's going to break. Um, fortunately, in our case, it did not. Um, but you'll have actually four different uh, clips that clip into the headlight assembly. Uh, so you'll work your way from back here all the way to the front. So you go ahead and slide that out and it'll actually pop right out just like that. So again, there are one, two, three, four pieces and as well as this locating piece that goes to the center shroud. So we have to be very careful, again, not to damage any of these as this whole assembly right here is plastic. To remove the lower uh, plastic grill surround piece, uh, it's actually gonna require moving, removing four 10 millimeter nuts. Uh, the first one is actually located right back here. There is uh, one right here. Uh, one right here, as well as one right here. Uh, be careful when you, after you remove these nuts, when you go to actually pull this piece out, there are uh, some locating tabs that we want to make sure not to damage. Um, also, the center nuts you'll have to actually get to from underneath the truck, so keep that in mind. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove this lower shroud piece. Now, if you're converting from a truck with chrome grill surrounds, uh, this would be a good time to substitute the painted pieces in if that's what you're doing. Uh, we typically recommend buying the pre-primer pieces rather than trying to paint the chrome pieces because typically uh, the paint tends to actually flake off once you paint over the chrome. So something to keep in mind here. Uh, so now that these pieces are removed, let's go ahead and remove the main part of the grill. Uh, this uses 10 millimeter bolts throughout, uh, which are actually located all around the grill assembly. You can see them all around here, along the top, uh, down below here where it actually indexes to the headlight assembly, as well as down below, and all the way around. So let's go ahead and remove all these 10 millimeter bolts and we can go ahead and pop the grill off. Uh, be very careful in this step as the whole thing will actually want to pop out 
when you, or the whole, th whole assembly is going to come off here. So let's be mindful not to scratch the lower bumper piece if it's already painted. In order to remove the headlights, it's going to be a combination of body pins and 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, you actually have body pins up above, down below, and then bolts all around. Uh, the lower body pin, you'll have to actually access from the front of the truck uh, in between the headlight assembly and the front bumper. I recommend using a rag around the body panel removing tool in order to not scratch the front bumper. Uh, the 10 millimeter bolt that's down below, you'll actually have to go uh, down below the bumper to access and remo remove it that way. Once we've removed the bolts holding it, holding each headlight, we can proceed to go ahead and pull them out. Now, the harness is held in with basically one connector. So it makes this relatively easy. Just be mindful not to scratch the lower bumper piece if it's painted. So there's one clip that holds the headlight in place, or the headlight connector in place. Then we go ahead and disconnect it. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull the center clip back, which we did. You'll depress on the, on the black center piece. It'll go ahead and slide right out and uh, repeat this process for both sides. Uh, be mindful there is a clip here holding the headlight in place. On the driver's side, you'll want to be mindful to go ahead and disconnect the harness uh, from up above. Uh, passenger side, you can actually do it uh, once you pull that headlight out. Driver's side, you have to do it in order to pull the headlight out. Uh, so you go ahead and remove that. And uh, we're ready to start adding some new parts. Uh, next thing we'll be doing is the side badges that are on the hood. Uh, we have the factory night edition badges for this. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with removing the old badges. Uh, just like with the front uh, surround pieces, I recommend a plastic, or actually a combination of a couple of plastic uh, body panel removers. Uh, in this case, we have one larger one, one smaller one, as well as a, cl a clean rag. Uh, so what we'll do first is go ahead and find a starting point. So in this case, we'll go ahead and start back here. Um, now, it's a good possibility that the factory uh, clips on the, stop, on the factory side emblems are going to bust. So since we're replacing them anyway, I figure not that big of a deal, but just be prepared. Uh, so what we have is actually three clips on the top, uh, one on either side and then three along the bottom. Uh, so let's go ahead. So we have the initial indexing or initial starting point here. So we'll go ahead and uh, start on the top upper rear. Uh, once we go ahead and wedge that in here, we'll go ahead and work our way around. All right, so now that we got the old one out, got the new one here, uh, they're side specific. So pay attention to which sides go on which and then we literally just pop these things in. So, uh, tail lights are probably the easiest portion of this whole install. Uh, two, two T25 bolts basically hold them in place. Uh, so you'll go ahead and remo remove the two T25 bolts. Uh, make sure to slide the tail light straight back out so you don't bust the clips or holding it in place. It really needs to slide out backwards. Uh, so you'll go ahead and slide the, the clip out on the harness, uh, depress the uh, connector on the harness, slide it out, new ones plug right in, uh, you know, super simple. Like again, two T25 bolts holding them in place. Slide the new taillights in. On these 2019 plus trucks, we notice that the connectors are a little on the tight side. Uh, basically what I'm saying is the connectors that actually the tail, that plug into the taillights, they are very tight up against where the uh, basically like the housing uh, that the headlights slide into. Uh, so it's real, it's actually kind of tight on the passenger side getting these things back in, but they go in. It's just, you're gonna push the uh, connector against the body a little bit. So be prepared for that. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and move on to the mirrors. So next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove these chrome mirrors. Uh, this part is relatively involved because we are removing door panels. So in order to do this, we'll need to uh, use a T20 bit for the outer pieces. Uh, they're actually body pins technically, but they do use uh, Torx T20 uh, bits to remove them. Uh, once those are removed, we'll go ahead and pull the door handle back and use a Phillips screwdriver to get to the uh, center uh, bolt holding this door panel in place. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so once you've unscrewed these a little bit, you can go ahead and just pull them right out. They don't, there's not really much grab to them once, uh, once they're partially unscrewed, so relatively easy to remove. Uh, so you have two on the outside of the door panel and you're going to have 
uh, two on the inside of the door panel. Once you remove the inner two, you'll have two more along the bottom uh, for a total of six T20 style body pins, body clips. So in order to remove the door panel, we'll go ahead and remove the little access panel at the front of the actual door handle itself. Uh, once we pop that off, we'll have access to the final Phillips head screw that's holding the entire door panel in place. So we'll go ahead and remove that Phillips screw. So once we do that, we'll go ahead and pop off the front cover. Uh, this will allow us to lift the whole door panel out of the truck simply by lifting it. Uh, when, once you lift the door panel up, uh, this is actually going to require a combination of things. Uh, so there are a couple harnesses that hold the, both the door panel and the mirror in place on the back of the door panel. You'll go ahead and remove those. Uh, once you do that, you can go ahead and, and pull the whole door panel off the truck. Once the door panel is removed, we'll start by uh, using a body panel puller to go ahead and pull the different clips holding everything in place. Uh, we'll start with this guy here. We'll work our way down. So there are two clips we'll be removing. Then you have these three lower connections on this module here. Uh, real easy, you compress the tabs and slide them out. Make sure to notate the order in which you remove these so that way everything works correctly once reinstalled. So now that these are out, uh, we have our handy 10 millimeter once again to go ahead and remove the two nut the three nuts that are holding the mirror in place okay so make sure to have somebody on the other side holding the mirror in place so it doesn't fall off and scratch your paint so you'll go ahead and remove the nuts so at this point you go ahead and slide the mirror out the harness will actually follow the mirror right out of the hole that it's connected through all right, so in reverse order, we'll go ahead and slide the new mirror's harness back through. Again, it's, it's helpful to have somebody on the other side in order to minimize the possibility of scratching the paint. We'll go ahead and, and uh, hand thread the nuts on to start, hold everything in place. And we'll go ahead and tighten the new mirror in place. So now that the new mirror is tightened into place, we will retrace our steps. So we'll go ahead and uh, reconnect the little loom for the mirror harness. And then this harness actually goes up, down, and below. So it's green, going from bottom to top, black and then white. All right, so at this point, we go ahead and start uh, reconnecting everything for the door panel, which we'll do now. All right, so now we fully stripped this thing down. Let's go ahead and reassemble it in reverse order of the previous steps. Uh, we'll show you guys as everything goes back together and uh, can't wait to see what it looks like. It would have been a little bit cheaper to get this done from the factory, but unfortunately they did not offer the night edition with this color. Uh, that said, everything went pretty smoothly. We, we managed not to scratch anything. Uh, truck looks a whole heck of a lot better, which you guys will see here in a second. Uh, if you guys have any questions in regards to any of this, again, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we'll have all the part numbers listed in the description for everything we used. And uh, can't wait to see what you guys come up with on your own.